Vijay Prakash Industrials has been in the forefront of heavy clay-based machinery manufacture in India since 1966. The wide array of machines of varied applications for the industry offered by Vijay Prakash Industrials makes it unique and unparalleled. Today, our logo speaks volumes of the mathematical precision and commitment that goes into the manufacture of our machines. The strict quality control and continuous research and development ensure that each machine conforms to international standards. 50 years of our sincere effort and hard work has been instrumental in bringing out machines par excellence and universal acclaim. Vijay Prakash Industrials Calicut offer our heartfelt gratitude and express our sincere thanks to our guide, mentor and motivator Sri K.K. Ayyappan who started this venture in a humble way in 1966. The Art of Brick Making For centuries, brick was handmade, making the whole process laborious and time-consuming. The clay had to be dug and mixed manually and the entire brick making process was carried out in the clay yard. The clay mixture was then packed in molds and let to dry naturally. Necessity being the mother of invention, over the years Terracotta industry underwent rapid changes both in quality and quantity. It also added elegance, beauty and charm. The aesthetic appeal of it can now be seen from the flooring tiles to roofing tiles. Today, we have terracotta products for all applications in varied sizes and shapes. The simplest of all wire cut bricks consists of the pug mill employed for brick making units. The raw material for brick making is clay which contains fine particles and exhibits plasticity when mixed with appropriate amounts of water. The chemical composition of clay contains silicon oxides and alumina oxides, the other minor ingredients in smaller quantities being iron oxide, sodium, potassium, titanium oxide and calcium carbonate. Though the selection and testing of raw materials is one of paramount importance, this is the one aspect which is often neglected and overlooked leading to serious difficulties in subsequent production and affects the quality of the end products. Dilatometric measurement on the thermal behavior of dimensional variation on heating up and cooling down over temperature range from room temperature to 1200 degrees Celsius. Differential thermal analysis to gain knowledge on to evolution of heat and change of mass as a function of temperature during the firing process. Raw Material Preparation The abundantly and readily available raw material for brick making is clay, which is available in different varieties and grades. The clay may contain hard granules such as silica, sand particles, quartz, limestone to name a few. Preparation of clay therefore requires crushing, kneading, mixing and tempering for high quality products to be made. The purpose of the preparation of clay is not only to improve the mineralogical homogeneity and plasticity of the clay but also change the physical and chemical properties 
such as shrinkage, color and vitrifying temperature by the proper mixture of various types of clays and additives. Well prepared clay ensures better shaping and dry strength, final surface finishes and stronger structure for the products leading to reduced rejection ratio. To maintain consistency of quality and high productivity, strict quality control has to be maintained in the selection, classification and mixing of materials. The raw clay is then transported with the help of bucket excavator from the clay yard, thereby saving a lot of time and manpower. They can be placed either horizontally or vertically as per the requirements. The raw clay is then transported through a clay conveyor belt which provides a cost-effective solution to the labor-intensive project. The raw clay which is of different grades and varieties is then deposited in different box feeders depending upon the application of the product. Box feeders have specially designed heavy-duty and robust construction that they ensure maximum reliability and durability with many years of trouble-free service. The spades in the box feeder have heavy-duty steel construction for the three chambers and the level of output can be regulated as per the customer's requirements. The design of the box feeder is such that it is payload compatible which can be employed for quicker and faster loading of the raw materials. The proportionately mixed clay is then fed into a clay mixer and water added adequately in a regulated manner to maintain consistency. The clay mixer with crushing rollers has two chambers with beta-shaped augers which expand the clay and make the penetration of water easy. It is then passed over to the closed barrel with closed augers. The clay becomes compact when the slicers at the end of it slice it into thin wafers. Hard raw materials like crushable stones and hard clay cannot be crushed by fine rollers. These are put into a pan mill which consists of a pair of heavy duty rollers which are friction free. The hard materials are crushed by the inner roller and scrapped by scraper and fed into the outer roller which crushes the clay and squeezes it through perforated plates. The resultant noodle-like clay is then fed to the pre-grinding rollers. The raw materials usually contain crushable stones and hard clay which needs to be reduced to smaller sizes by feeding it into crushing rollers to facilitate finer grinding. The granules of harder materials are crushed to sizes between 3 mm and less than 1 mm in two stages by differential speed roller mills. This fine grinding process is highly important to maintain quality control of the finished product. The de-airing extrusion involves the process of forcing clay along a cylinder by means of an augering action through a mold to form high quality product especially perforated bricks and hollow bricks. The refined clay from the fine roller mill is first fed into the pug sealer and then onto the de-airing chamber. In the chamber, the trapped air in the clay, if any, is removed by using a vacuum pump. 
It also ensures that the clay column extrusion is denser, stronger and free of air occlusion which when exists causes a blistering effect due to the expansion of air during the firing process. The clay column shaped by the extruder is cut to a predetermined length and this is pushed through manual brick cutters or semi-automatic multi-wire brick cutters or fully automatic inline cutter or fully automatic multi-wire brick cutters without any end waste. Changing the mouthpiece of the de-airing extruder enables us to extrude different products such as hollow bricks, bricks, ventilators, slabs for press products such as roofing tiles, elevation tiles and floorings. Fully automatic wet and dry brick stacking machine. This equipment is a versatile machine employed for doing multiple tasks such as separating, turning, grouping, stacking of green or dry bricks based on the international advanced technology and is characteristic of our advanced and latest state-of-the-art technology with ultra-modern design, excellent processing, highly automated and indigenous equipment for automated brick factories with large production capacity. What our valuable clients say about us. We welcome Vijay Pragas Industrial to the Bilibatram Tile Works. We had a long standing association with Mrs. Vijay Pragas Industrials for the past, I must say, more than 25 years. More, all our machines have been supplied by them and uh, we have been working very satisfactorily with their machines and we have been able to produce all innovative clay blocks using their machines. Vijay Prakash Industrials, Calicut.